This is the all new 2014 Acura MDX. With increased fuel economy, improved comfort, enhanced driving dynamics, and built on a completely new platform. We're here in the beautiful Willamette Valley to take it for a spin and see if once again Acura has set the benchmark. It's still very much a driver's car. It has a great sporty dynamics that have made the MDX such a popular car. But now we have new levels of refinement and comfort that we're missing in the previous uh, vehicle. We have top class fuel economy, top class safety, family friendly versatile interior with enhanced cargo carrying capability, all new complement of features, many of which are unique for the Canadian market itself great value as well with the pricing of this vehicle. So I'm very happy that when this vehicle goes on sale, I think it's going to, it's going to be a very strong product. I can't wait to see it on the street. There's no question that you're looking at an MDX. The overall design is still conservative looking, but the new Jewel Eye LED lights do give it a bit more of a sporty appearance. They've made some changes to the interior that I absolutely love. First of all, the center console is a lot more functional and more elegant looking and there's a ton more space. They've got little compartments so there's a place to put your phone, your iPad and even your purse. Now moving on to the center console, on first glance it looks very similar to the previous model but one of the big complaints about the previous model was that there were just too many buttons. So on this new MDX, they've actually gone from 41 to 9. Thanks for listening, Acura. The interface is now mostly touchscreen with haptic feedback to the driver. Not only does it look much cleaner, it's also very intuitive. The MDX still offers a ton of value with a starting price of just under 50000 Standard features on the base model include heated seats, heated steering wheel and multi-angle rear view camera. You can go up to the elite top of the line trim, get remote starter, adaptive cruise control, ventilated front seats and the ultra wide entertainment system. We have a new remote start. What it will do is, in particularly cold weather, when the temperature goes below seven degrees Celsius, it will precondition the car for you. It will turn on the heated zone. It will turn on the heated windshield. The air conditioning system will go to high in a defrost mode. The rear window heater will turn on, as do the mirror heaters. All this to get the car preconditioned for you to minimize the inconvenience and trouble that you have in the winter time coming to your car when it's covered in ice and snow to get the car all ready for you uh, as you enter it. I just drove the 2013 MDX last week and I immediately noticed how much quieter the interior of this new model is. To do this, Acura has added thicker glass, active engine mounts and even quieter tires. The latest MDX features a new 3.5 liter V6 engine with IV tech and direct injection. It's matched to a very smooth six-speed automatic and it produces a bit less power than the previous model at 290 horsepower with 267 pound-feet of torque. As expected, this SUV also comes with super handling all-wheel drive. The difference from 300 to 290 horsepower is not noticeable at all. Behind the wheel, this MDX still feels powerful and super smooth. The electric power steering is responsive and it's comfortable on all the windy roads here in Newburgh. I love that it feels smaller on the road than it actually is, making it a decent vehicle to drive even in the city. This new MDX has been rated at 9.6 liters per 100K, which is an impressive improvement of just over two liters per 100 kilometers. They've changed the overall aerodynamics, used narrower tires, and added variable cylinder management that turns off three cylinders when not needed. The Acura MDX has been the benchmark in the mid-size luxury crossover SUV segment for years. It's an important vehicle for Acura because it currently counts for a third of all the vehicles sold in their entire lineup. Zach and I have always said it's a great driving vehicle, but another thing that makes it attractive to potential buyers is the fact that it offers a ton of value. Want more? Extended reviews of many of our segments are available online at drivingtelevision.com.